my friends. How are you? I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since we've uh, had a coffee together, hey? So what can I tell you? Yes, lots has been happening. Um, several times I have made videos and recorded and tried to upload them and did they work? Nope! But that's okay. We don't quit around here. We're all about uh, never quit, never give up. So, what we're going to do here is I'm going to take the video footage that I do have and it, some of it might be random, some of it might line up with specific topics like, you know, my road to Hollywood or helping the homeless or just random videos. But here's the thing. I'm going to get these videos together, get them done, upload them, and see if I have any more success with them. And, uh, and then I'm going to get back into the rhythm of doing my daily vlog again because it's been like four days. And uh, I may need to invest in better technology. Um, I've been trying to use my phone. I got this new phone and I made some great video clips that I was going to put together. We made a trip to the store and went and hung out with some homeless people. And the thing is, like I mentioned before, the sound didn't record and I was pretty upset. And there's a lot of things that have been happening, you know, in a nutshell. I'm still working on this play, ba -ba, The Rock of Ages, and that begins April 20th. I'll do a video with an update on what has been happening there. This past weekend, I volunteered at the Kelowna Fan Expo to promote our play, but also I watched this uh, one-man Star Wars trilogy. It was a play, and it was freaking fantastic. This guy took all the Star Wars movies and he just put them into like one theater production. And he did noises and sounds and music and dialogue and action. And it was just this collaboration of, of uh, the whole 1980s trilogy. And I had to leave after, you know, half of it because I had to go to work. Um, but it was great. And in light of work, you know, I asked the big guy upstairs for a job and I started working at a coffee shop baking, at, baking stuff at night. And I never realized, you know, in the restaurant business in this country, we throw a lot of food away. And that started to uh, weigh me down. I felt bad about throwing garbage bags of food out. So, you know, I put in my notice. I talked to the manager. And uh, in the meantime, I continue to do baking a couple nights a week until they can find somebody else. So, you know, it doesn't look like that's going to work out long term, but who knows, you know, um, they're okay uh, with me taking some of the leftovers and uh, I can use those leftovers to make lunches for the homeless. So when I go into town, as you know, if you've been following me on my channel, Rua is the breath of life. Um, I like to hang out with the homeless and I, I do simple things like coffee, uh, visit with them. When I show up, I pull my lawn chairs out and we talk. I ask where they're from, what, what it's like living on the streets. And uh, I've invited some back to my house, you know, four or five people I've invited. Um, it still hasn't happened, even though my wife and I have made big meals and cleaned the house and, you know, prepared to be... Uh, hosts, you know, we, we, we want to be people of hospitality, you know, and some of the things I read talk about what good is it to love somebody who can love you back? You know, I, I, I want to live that challenge of loving people who can't pay me back, who there's no expectation, you know, and strangers. Um, I guess they're not really strangers because I get to know them out on the streets, but almost well, not all. Yeah, almost every single time I go into town, um, I make sure I look for somebody to connect with. And uh, sometimes they're they're drinking or they're stoned on drugs. Uh, but but I kind of have this discernment of when to get involved and when to pull back. If I just show up and somebody's been drinking, you know, I'll give them a hot lunch. I might even give them a couple dollars. You know, I'll shake their hand and you know talk to them for a bit. But I don't hang out too long. I like to spend my time with those who are sober and uh, 
who are homeless and struggling, you know, they need a friend. It's weird, you know, you think about how your hands, they just go all grimy when you live out on the streets. You know, just a nice handshake, you know, give someone a hug. Sometimes it's just that little bit of physical contact that makes a difference for um, a person down and out living on the streets. But um, I took some uh, voiceover workshops uh, in this past weekend. Two guys, uh, Brian Drummond and Lee Coker, I think. Um, I'll put this up on another video as well. Uh, two really big deals in the world of voice acting. They do stuff, voices for cartoons. Dragon Ball Z and Walt Disney and cartoons and Nickelodeon. And, you know, they're just the real deal when it comes to, you know, being a voice actor. And, you know, it's a great career if you can get in there. And we learned a lot. You know, I think for like three or four days, I have to ask my wife, but I think I only had like four hours and like three or four days of sleep because I have to work graveyards. So it's like I get an hour of sleep, boom, I get an hour of sleep, boom, you know, and then I go and I work all night. Um, but that's not why my videos aren't posted. I'm not doing very good with the technology, you know. I thought that if I got like this iPhone, I could take these videos and then just go to my free Wi-Fi and upload them and that's just not happening and I don't know why I'll spend like three hours working on something and then another three hours upload and nothing works and then on my computer it's like 14 or 15 hours to upload a video um, so I gotta figure this out I need better technology maybe it's because my laptop is like 10 years old and it's like a $300 laptop uh, that could be I don't know but this camera works. And again, it's just it's like this little wee click, click, click Canon camera. Like you, you guys have seen this if you saw the videos, but um, spring is here. Crazy things happening, you know? I know what's going on in your life has got to be exciting because when, when the spring air comes and the, and the April showers and the snow is melting, in Canada anyway, uh, you get excited about summer, you know, going to the beach and going hiking and playing soccer and baseball and just all that fun. No more cold and barbecues, you know, hot dogs. I like going to the beach. It's going to be a different summer this year. So, what we're going to do, bada boom, is get these videos done, bada bing bada boom, get them uploaded, bada bing bada boom. Um, I'll put this video on my channel, Rua is the Breath of Life. I think there's about 80, 90 videos on there. Uh, we started YouTubing, we started vlogging in, uh, was it February? Like, not that long. And then my channel, Frederick Nelson, Frederick Nelson Munowich. There's only like nine subscribers. I'm not even sure who they are. But uh, I think that's where I'm going to do more personal stuff, more more connecting. So whoever subscribes there, you know, I can, I can talk to you like we're two people having a conversation. Whereas my channel, Rua is the Breath of Life, is going to be more about, you know, the things that I do that make a difference in the world. And that includes things with myself. Because I believe... Part of what makes the world a better place, part of what makes your town, your home, your family, your circle of friends, what makes it better is for you to become the best you you can be, right? What is the best version of yourself? You know, because we want to be people who are continuing to grow, you know? I, I'm not where I'm at, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm better than I was yesterday. And my goal is to be better tomorrow. So whatever mistakes, poor choices, failures that I might make today, and hey, we're human, we screw up, right? Um, you fall forward, you fail forward. You get knocked down, you get back up. Isn't that what Tub Thumper said? I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. <laughs> and uh, that's what's uh, happening there. So, I don't think I have anything else to share this morning. I want to get these videos posted. And uh, once I have cleaned out my video file, then I'm going to start making some new videos. 
And you know what? Because this is a new experience and because now I've had a few days break, not by choice, um, I sense that there's a lot more freedom for me to get more creative with the videos. And so I'm going to actually try and plan. You know, and I know daily vlogging is about, you know, putting your life online. And I'm, I'm going to continue to put my life online. I just want to make a few more creative videos, you know, and uh, we'll see where that goes. But I'll continue to do like these daily, you know, like Monday I'll talk about the homeless, having a heart for the homeless. Tuesday I'll continue to update you on the road to Hollywood. Wednesdays I like to put interviews with people, real people, real stories, ask people questions. I have to do a video about my body transformation, about getting fit or fat. You know, I, I've got this juicer, got this gymnasium, started going to the gym and like I was doing really well and things didn't work out and then I started eating junk food because I work at a bakery and like, so I'll update you, that's a Thursday video. And then Fridays I just like to put random videos out there, dancing, cooking, whatever. Saturdays I like to do children's stories, read some books, and then Sunday I started reading a book, so I don't know how I'll work it all out, but um, I'm letting the pressure go of having to like be a perfectionist, always wanting to have the perfect video, but uh, any questions, you know, you can always email me, I'm on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter the most, I, I do upload to Tumblr, Reddit, what is it? Vimeo? Um, LinkedIn? I'm on several different social media platforms, but predominantly I use Facebook. Uh, Rua is the breath of life. And I have Instagram. Rua is the breath of life. And of course, Twitter. So connect with me there. Ask questions, dialogue. Maybe there's some videos you want to see. Maybe we'll just do like Ask Frederick. And uh, you send me questions. And uh, I'll share my response to some of those. But uh, I'll talk to you later, my friends. God love you. I hope things are going well with you. And uh, I'll see you on YouTube. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's me, Frederick, from The Breath of Life. This is uh, the YouTube channel called Rua, and I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what this channel is. It's about having life breathed into you, and then you turning around and breathing life back into the world. We do this by making videos. I put my life story out there, and as I do different things in life, I have things that inspire me and build me up and breathe life into me, but then I turn that around and I breathe life into others. I help the homeless or I go hang out with some, some addicts and I volunteer and serve where I can. But at the same time, this is about me becoming the best version of myself in hopes that I would be an inspiration to others. So check out this channel. Ruah is the breath of life. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the YouTube channel called Rua is the Breath of Life. My name is Frederick Munowich and uh, I'm glad you dropped by. Uh, gives me a chance to tell you a little bit about what this channel is about. Uh, essentially, I have been raised from the dead. The big guy upstairs had a plan for my life that I never saw before. And I've kind of been resurrected and been, had life breathed back into me. And so I'm doing what I can now to like pay that forward, to be somebody who breathes life into others now. You know, I make videos. I put a video on every day on this channel and they're, they're diverse. Sometimes it's just about me getting back into shape, body transformation. Sometimes it's about me when I, I go and help the homeless. I have a heart for the homeless. I like to reach out and, you know, people helping people, right? And also, you know, I'm on my way to becoming the best version of myself. And, and I'm an actor, I'm a performer, theater, TV, film. I'm just starting out, but I'm on my road to Hollywood. You can join me on that. And other than that, I hope to send out a message of hope and inspiration to you. So tune in and I'll see you here on Ruah is the breath of life. God love you.